Hello everyone, today we are doing a what I eat in a day that is centered around cozy comfort meals that I'm eating while I'm still eating for weight loss. So they're all gonna be delicious recipes and I'm just showing you what I'm doing. So we're taking some protein powder and then we're gonna add in chickpea flour to a bowl along with some like pumpkin pie spice seasoning or cinnamon, like whatever you have. And just give that a nice mix, mix all your dry ingredients. Then we're gonna add in some non-dairy milk. I'm using this one from Good Karma, it's pretty great. Um, they sent it to me and I was trying it out, so it was good. Then we're gonna add in some maple syrup, vanilla extract, and just whisk that all together until we have a batter for our French toast. I'm going to be using the 647 bread. You can use any bread that you like and prefer. I just like this one. And so I'm just gonna spray my pan with a little bit of this avocado oil spray and then just dip my bread in there and I love French toast for breakfast because like, I just think it's so easy and delicious. And I can not have just a sweet breakfast, so we're also going to make some vegan just egg while those sizzle up. So I'm just gonna add in some of that to my pan with some vegan cheddar cheese and then just make like a scramble. I don't know, I just, I cannot just do a sweet breakfast. There needs to be something savory there. And then just flip your French toast after a few minutes and so it'll just be nice and cooked on both sides and that's it and it's easy. And this French toast was really good. So I'm just going to you know, cook up my little vegan just egg until it's done to my preference. And the French toast is done, so now we can plate it up. I'm gonna add some strawberries to my plate, and I like to dip into my maple syrup, okay? I don't like it to be saturated over the French toast, so I'm gonna put that in there, everything like that. I'm gonna add in my tea, because I have my green tea every morning, and that's it, breakfast is done. Looks absolutely beautiful, delicious, and this French toast was really, really, really good. Do you want strawberries? You want your strawberries? Here, look. Have some. Go get them. Go ahead. Strawberry party. Strawberry party. Good morning, everyone. So first of all, I open up my blinds and there's a giant leaf bug over there, which I like hate them. It's outside, but I hate them. I don't know. This time of year is so gross because all like the stink bugs come out and like the crickets and like everything's like confused because like summer's over and whatever, so it's like gross. Obviously, you watched me make this a beautiful breakfast that I cannot wait to eat. I just wanted to give a quick hello. Today we're gonna do like a what I eat in a day for weight loss, cozy comfort meals. You will obviously see the kitchen scale. At the end, I will give you the nutritional information like calories and uh, macros and stuff in case you're curious. I'll tell you, so if you don't wanna watch that, you can just turn it off. I've been still on my weight loss journey. You guys really enjoyed that video that I posted a few weeks ago and like I had a lot of positivity and sweet comments on it so I really appreciate it. Since that video I've lost like another, I don't know, three pounds or something. I've been in a little bit of a plateau but like I broke through down to like a lower like number if that makes sense. Um, so I was really happy about that. And yeah, and I know like this time of year it's it gets easier for me to wanna be like, oh like, I'm not in little shorts anymore and I'm not in a bikini, but like I wanna keep going and working on myself. So yeah, so I just hope that this can help you if you're looking for motivation and help you come up with recipe ideas and whatever. This breakfast was like a little bit more elaborate, I guess, than what I usually eat, but I feel bad because I always show you guys that same breakfast sandwich, so I wanted to give you something different. And ultimately, if I wasn't filming this, it would take me probably like 15 minutes to make. Like it's not that crazy to make, it just took a little longer because I was filming. So I'm gonna eat this, which it's like cold now, but I'm used to it. Um, yeah, I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. We're gonna work out. I have my cute little outfit on. Wanted to show you this top, cause it's a little hard to see, but it's like an asymmetrical top. So this side's like a little bit thicker. And then this side is like thin, you know, you see it. It's really cute. I got it on Amazon, I'll link it down below. But um, I've been doing work all morning and it's around one o'clock. So I'm gonna go walk on the treadmill for an hour and then we'll eat lunch and these sneakers are new. These sneakers are really awesome. They're the um, Adidas Ultra Boost. I don't know, I got them. They were having a sale, so. I try and do um, four miles. Well, I do four miles, I don't try and do. I do four miles, but I try and run one mile. So that's what we're doing. I did arms yesterday. Look at my arms. They're like really, they're kind of coming along. I love training upper arms. Um, okay. Let's uh, let's go do this workout. Okay, so this is what I do when I go on the treadmill. So first we hit start and I warm up for like two minutes, just like gradually increasing the incline and the speed. So like, just to like get it going. So I'll do that for the first two minutes. As I approach the end of two minutes, I make sure that I'm at my goal speed and resistance, which is 
1.3 miles per hour, 13.5 incline, and we do this for a half hour. Okay, 32, done. So now I'll slow it down and just walk a little bit slower at a less incline for a few minutes. So I usually drop it, I have it right now at 3.5 and 12. I'll bring that up eventually back to 3.8, but I just like to walk for a few minutes. Um, just with that low and then I'll start running for 10 minutes around 42 45 minutes you know I just try and like give myself a moment after doing that high intensity incline and as you can tell I'm very out of breath all right so now I'm almost at three miles once it's hits three miles I'll start running until I get to the fourth mile at 43 12 right now so let's do it Okay, I did my mile. I tried to show you guys, I don't know what that clip's gonna look like. It was like 52.10, and I think I did it in under nine minutes. So now I walk for a few minutes and just like let my body cool and just, you know. Okay, so my treadmill workout is done. And basically when I do treadmill workouts, that's how I structure it. So I've worked really hard to get up to that 30 minutes of uh, 13.5 incline in 4.3 seconds or 4.3 miles per hour sorry so um I started at like 12 3.5 and I just kept kind of upping and upping it so that's where I'm at now and like even like with the running my first goal was to just like however long it took to run a mile just run the mile and now I've just been like working on it harder so yeah okay I'm gonna do 110 ab exercises stretch and then we can finally eat lunch Okay, so for lunch, let's make this really delicious autumnal salad. So I'm gonna use seitan here. Sometimes I use tofu, sometimes I use seitan. So just spraying my little pan again. I'm gonna add my seitan in there. And this one is really good from Sweet Earth. They like it, it makes it easy. And it's such a great protein source. So I'm gonna let that cook up on the stove. In the meantime, I'm gonna put a bunch of arugula in my big bowl. And then we're gonna add in some chopped up bell pepper and chopped up cucumber. Then I'm gonna add that seitan in. I just put some buffalo sauce on there because I like that. And then we're gonna add craisins and the craisins are the magic of this. The craisins and the walnuts, it makes it so fall. So we're gonna add in some croutons too. And then I like to add in the follow your heart vegan feta, which is absolutely delicious. And this salad just works so well all together. And then I'm just gonna top it with some balsamic glaze. And oh my goodness, this is such a yummy, delicious salad. I have been craving this and eating it like every single day. It is absolutely delicious. Hello, okay, so I ate lunch, that was a good lunch. We didn't really talk about lunch, but that's like my, been my go-to salad lately. Like I know it probably like when just like, salads are so summery, but that salad is so fall with like the craisins and the walnuts in there. Oh my God, it's so good. I did some work and then I had to go to Whole Foods to pick up something and then my Whole Foods is right next to Marshall's. So I convinced me, I was like, I need a fall candle. I need a new mug. So I went to Marshall's. All right, so should we, Look at what I got from Marshalls. I don't know, like what? What is it about Marshalls? Like, I don't know. Okay, so first of all, how, like how, how was I gonna pass up on these? Look at how cute. Look, okay, this, this honestly, it's the little tongs, okay? The little tongs are what sold me here. They say grab, can you see that? We focused on that, I don't know. But they say grab and then it was the little tongs and this little spatula right here <laughs> the cutest mug and it says good morning pumpkin on it okay good morning it says it on both sides oh i love that it was 3.99 look at that coloring i have another mug the mug i used this morning um i think is from the same brand but good morning pumpkin like is that gonna be backwards i hope it's not but are you kidding me okay like how how was i gonna pass up on that this was um from staub the brand you know the company staub just like a little casserole dish i think um i figured this could be good casserole season is upon us. The first candle that I found was this one that said thankful on it. So I thought that was cute. Is that gonna focus? There we go. And I just thought that was really cute. And it smells, mm, it smells so good. Then it's called white pumpkin. It just has that seasonal cinnamony. It smells like a cookie. Oh, it smells so good. This candle is called warm fireside. And it's a woodwick candle, which the woodwick ones are so cool. They like crackle, okay? Look at how big this is. This is a huge candle, but 
Oh, okay, it smells like men's cologne. Like it smells like a really attractive man. <laughs> it just smells like cologne and like a really like attractive man. So I'll be sitting here. I love masculine candles. Like I'm a big fan of um, more masculine scented candles. So these were like good finds, I think. It's seven o'clock. We'll make dinner very shortly. I think I should light this candle. So for dinner, I wanted to keep it pretty easy because I was kind of tired. So first I took some super firm tofu. This is my favorite tofu. It has the most amount of protein and it's like the densest tofu. It's like, it's the absolute best tofu, okay? Then I'm gonna add some citrusy garlic seasoning and paprika to it and just gonna pan fry that until it's nice and crispy. Using the cauliflower gnocchi from Trader Joe's. Normally I air fry this, but did not feel like getting at the air fryer, so I just added it to a pan and sprayed it. And I'm gonna warm up a bunch of frozen broccoli, just letting that tofu cook up with my new little spatula. How cute is it? And then I just like pan fried the gnocchi and like added some water in to help it kind of steam. I put a lid on there and just like help it cook up quicker. And yeah, that's like, it was like easier to do it this way. I didn't feel like taking the air fryer out. And so then once the tofu is all golden crispy, looks absolutely beautiful. Broccoli was on the microwave, adding the tofu and the cauliflower gnocchi to the bowl. And then we're gonna add some buffalo sauce and we're gonna also add some vegan ranch on there. And that's it, easy dinner, quick, efficient. Like I said, it's cozy and comforting, but I wanted something quick. And then for dessert, okay, I was like, I wanna make something with apple and something baked. So I took a little, like ramekin kind of thing and I cut up one apple I sprayed a little bit of non-stick spray down there then we're gonna add I have apple pie seasoning so I just added that add a little more of the spray then we're gonna add some brown sugar on there okay some oats and we're kind of going for like an apple crisp feel you see what I'm doing I'm sorry the color keeps changing so much in these clips then we're gonna add more avocado spray on there and just pop that in the oven for like 30 minutes it was so good I snacked on some popcorn while we waited for it and that was it you guys it came out so cute wait no, let me show you this little dish is hot bro Look at it. So now I'm gonna add a little bit of this cocoa whip to it, which is really good. I like the cocoa whip. And oh my god, it smells so good. It smells just like apple crisp. I mean, it's like a it's like a cheat apple crisp, like a like a quick and a little bit healthier apple crisp. Let's see. Mmm. <gasps> like the cool whip has melted a little bit, the vegan cool whip. Let's see. Oh, those apples look good. They look like they baked up nicely. Mmm. Oh my gosh, this is really good. I'm gonna throw my oats back on there that fell off. This is delicious. All right, friends, so it is about nine o'clock and I am ready to be done with this video as much as I love hanging out with you guys for the day. So we're gonna do a little recap on all the food that I ate and everything like that. So if calories and macros and stuff are triggering for you, please turn this video off now. Thank you for watching, thanks for being here, but don't keep watching. Obviously you saw me tracking throughout the day, that's why I was using the scale, so I use the app chronometer it's a website and an app and so basically you just all day i was just like putting in my food is this gonna focus probably not um but yeah so you just like put in all your food and like as you measure it because some people had asked me in the weight loss video like what does it mean so basically like everything that i weighed out goes into this app and then i have a specific it specific it, specific target calories and proteins and stuff i'm trying to aim for if i eat over a little bit it's okay so I'll just recap in case you didn't see the weight loss video. My goal calories are between 1700 to 1750. Usually it's somewhere in there, like, or like 1725, something like that. Um, my goal protein is like 80 to 100 grams. My goal carbs is like 200 to 220. I don't really care that much about carbs or like 225 or even 250. I don't really care. Carbs are good for you, we need them. And then my goal fat is like 50 to 70 grams. I don't, again, I don't really care that much about um, macros other than protein and full and like your total calories so also just remember everything that i eat is for my journey for my body for what i do your journey may look completely different and you know take what you like from this video take ideas you don't have to do everything although make that dessert because it was delicious so my total calories for the day was 1726 my protein was 99.1 grams my carbs were 221 grams and my fat was 59.5 grams so Pretty great day, hit all my um, goals. My breakfast, I didn't I didn't figure out the macros for all these meals because in chronometer, it's so annoying. You don't like input food as a meal, you just input it. So then it's like, 
I would have had to sit there for a really long time and like gone through every ingredient and get the pro specific protein and then like add it all up. Like I would have been there forever. Like, I'm sorry, I'm not doing that. Um, so, but I'll tell you the calories. Breakfast was 377 calories. Lunch was 479 calories. Dinner was 529 calories. My snacks were 103 calories. That dessert was 219 calories. And then my vitamins were 17 calories. I just take like a multivitamin. Um, honestly, the only reason I track that is because chronometer like tracks your vitamins. So I put that in there. And I only drink water and tea. You know, if it's the weekend and I'm having like a beer or a rose or something, awesome, great. But I don't really like, I'm not drinking anything else during the week. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you like them, you already know, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff. If you want more videos like this, definitely let me know, okay? I don't want to make the channel, I, I don't know, I like really was struggling with this. I was like, do I just make a separate channel for weight loss? Like, do I just make something completely different? Because I know not everyone is here for weight loss and my, my stuff has never been about weight loss, but obviously it's become a very big part of my life. But as you can see, like I'm still eating really good food. Like I'm still eating like very yummy stuff because I don't want to eat not yummy things um, and losing weight. So like this is kind of just like how I've been eating and you know, lots of fruits and veggies, but I'll eat a mock meat, I eat substitutes and stuff like that. So um, yeah, but if you like this video, let me know. And if you found it helpful, let me know and yeah, I think that's all I have to say. I'm like tired. I have to go do more work anyway. So <sighs> I'm gonna wrap this up right here. Thank you for hanging out with me today. Thanks for being with me. And I'll see you next week with another video. Bye.